Hi guys, my name is Jordan. I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor, and today I'm quickly gonna go over how to put a timecode into your video. So let's not waste any more time, let's just get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this layer because that's the timecode that I already have. So now you and I can create one together from scratch. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a transparent video layer. So to do that, go to File, New, Transparent Video. Now it should automatically detect the sequence settings that you're working with, but in case anything looks off, it, it, it can't help to double check. So click OK, and your transparent video will be located right down here in the bottom with all your other clips. So click and drag it and bring it up to the top of your timeline. It helps to put it at the top of your timeline so that there's no chance it'll hide underneath any other video layers. So now click and drag it to extend it all the way till the end of your video, and even a little bit past just to be safe. Now once you're done this, your video shouldn't look any different. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop the timecode effect onto this layer. So go to Effects and we're gonna search for timecode. And there we go. Click timecode and drag it onto your transparent video. And there you go, your timecode automatically appears in your video. Now there's only one major problem. If you bring the playhead to the beginning of the video, you'll notice that it doesn't start at perfect zero. It actually starts at one hour. So to change this, we're gonna do one simple thing. Click effects, go to your timecode effects, and go to your timecode source and change it from media to generate. And there you go, now you have a video with a timecode that starts exactly at zero seconds. Now there's a couple other things you can do to customize your timecode and we're just gonna go over them really briefly. You have your position, which you can move left and right, and you can move up and down. You have your size, so you can increase or decrease the size of your timecode. Opacity, this actually doesn't have to do with the transparency of your actual timecode, it just has to do with the transparency of the black box around it. And you can see that in our case, that's actually really helpful here with the snow in the background so that we can distinguish our timecode effectively. And guys, that's the basics of how to put a timecode into your video. If you guys found this video helpful at all, uh, consider giving it a like or even subscribing. Uh, if you didn't like it, if you just hated it, leave me a comment, let me know what I can do differently. But that's it for now, thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time.